Anyhow, um, what I've done, I've just um, glued all these parts, reinforced them. This had a um, finger hole in there, so I've covered that. On the inside, I've put a bit of uh, chipboard there where it's been cut out, and I've glued all inside all the sides there so that's what it looks like and now here I'm going to um, I'm just measuring this part times two and I'm going to put a strip of paper that comes just above and just underneath there so it's going to come from there all the way round and just come over this crease here so um i hope to be using mod podge so wish me luck Crazy. So I'm just measuring in there and scoring inside and on the corners. Take a snip out of that. And I've just got the worst scissors to do that. And so I'll just make sure that fits before I do it. I'm going to do that all around that bit. Right, so what I've done, I've just scored. Just, um, I scored here and pushed the paper in, taking a V out of this side and as you can see, I don't know if you can see, I've cut a V out of that side as well so it will lay flat and I'm going to do that all around for this part of the lid.
Right, so I've used Mod Podge um, to stick these to stick this on around here. Inside's not done yet. Just around here. And now that it's sufficiently dry, I'm going to paint it black. See you on the other side. So yeah, I've painted around there now, and so when you look inside, you got that on the outside, and now I'm going to continue. I've uh, measured up the side panels, and I'm like here, and I'm just going to continue mod podging it onto the sides here. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm putting on the sides first, um, so the overlap will be underneath the first panel, and that's how I've done it. So, um, yeah, onwards and upwards. Okay, that's one side on. Another 1,000 to go. I've done all my measuring um, for in the box and first of all I'm starting with the sides so I mean this bit is 12 so I'm starting with the sides so when this bit comes over you don't see the overlap there um, this paper that I'm using here is called Be Our Guest and the one that I've used on the outside here is um, Giving Thanks by Teresa Collins and that one was by Jenny JennyBowling.com Okay Hi uh, so now I've got the box, um, well it's the next day, and I've got the box all uh, covered inside. Okay, that's the outside. That's the outside, and I've still got the bottom and the top 
to do. Um, I'm a bit concerned about this hinge here so to keep going all the way so I am intending I'm going to try and get out my sewing machine and um, some elastic I hope and some um, silk no satin and uh, just to put a string here and there just make it like really posh sort of thing okay because it's not for me it's for somebody very special so um yeah i think at the moment what i need to do it's all cured now it feels really good um so what i need to do i think is cover my bottom i mean cover the bottom of the box my bottom is covered sorry <laughs> sorry that no, you know what i mean <laughs> Oh yeah, so that's the bottom done. Um, I just need to paint here, like from just just the top here, um, and then cover the top. I've also um, only had these gold latches, so I've put rub and buff on them, and they're just. Um, drying at the moment so I can buff them off. I don't mean them to be silver but as long as they're not so gold, you know. Okay. Right, I don't know if you um know this. Um it's the handles that you can get off beer, uh lager boxes or any kind of crates. So I got this one um, from a box that had uh, like a laptop in, or but I know they do them for beers as well. So what I'm going to do here is, um, because it's just plastic, I'm going to put some cardstock, just black cardstock, make it look a bit better. Um, then I'm going to have to cut out some holes in the cardboard. This goes at the back, like inside, and this one comes out, so... I'm on a wing and a prior people. Okay, bye. Sorry, I don't know if I said I was going to put the uh, cardstock on by... Um... Oh, it's... oh, sorry. I'm putting the cardstock on here with Mod Podge. And now I'm going to use this as a template. Although this is going on the inside, I'm using this as a template for the holes that this goes through. Okay. So the handle is on now. Okay. Um, and I'm just using what I've got. Um, these were gold and um, I've tried to make them a little bit silver. They're small so when I put this here there's a great big gap. It doesn't line up. So what I'm using is uh, just putting uh, strips of um, cardstock, really thick cardstock together and covering it over with the paper for so that this bit here, see it can even go underneath, fills the gap so it comes out there so it can latch. This is optional, you can use whatever um, closure you want, you can use ribbon, you don't have to use it, it's quite sticky, anything, anything you got. Um, this is what I've got, so I'm using that. Okay, so let's get to the uh, cutting. Um, right, so the handle's on. Um, I've put the these bits on now. I'll show you how it closes in a minute. Um, I didn't go with the elastic idea. It, I'm tired and I'm aching. So I just put a piece of ribbon there and that's holding it fine. Okay. Then um, when you close it, there you go. It's done. So all I have to do 
your embellishments so um yeah i'll show you the finished product okay i finished my little case it's done yippee word of warning this bit here um mod podge didn't it was good to put the mod podge on the outside but because this is plastic it didn't stick so in the end i had to use red tape underneath it to actually stick it to this plastic thing underneath so without further ado um i've just put this um trim right around the case Um, this is actually a storage box so and this is the top of it um, I have used this pink paper is by Teresa Collins and it's called posh and this paper here is um who are you who are you timeless by Teresa collins as well she's got some great collections out so um i'll pull you in for a better i had to keep my embellishments really really flat because of course it's it's a, a storage box and things might need to go on top of it So I've much podged the whole um, top of it and all around the sides now. So it's durable. This is part of the paper. Um, I've put some gems on that butterfly. All of that is part of the paper. Um, I've all of this I've much podged on. Um, so I've put a swirl on here. This is from um, Debbie. AC 68 thank you and this is the um, this is why I really needed that Paris Debbie thank you so much you don't know what you've done for me and that's also what I got and that uh, you can't yeah that's shiny and then I've put uh, another flourish here and I've embossed it with uh, black embossing powder and um, then stamped into it while it was still hot put three gems there and all around this shape here um, I think I got that shape from Ali Dantre um, I've put um, this bling then here I, as I said I had to keep it flat so I got my punches out I here um, is another die cut piece this is a piece of the paper that's inside I've mod podged that on um, but before I did that I've stamped um, I think this is a Tim Holtz um, that Wentworth Gal gave me I took the love out and just stamped the frame this is actually um, the chandelier bit that comes down and then the swirls on that collection as well so I loved how that came out because I can't stamp to save my life so it turned out all right so that's my label oh yeah what am I talking about oh and in case you forgot what the inside looks like and that's the inside with my humble ribbon but it's doing the job okay right thank you